Ku. We are starting a brand new year, so we thought we'll put forth some new themes that you can invest into in 2023. Naveen Kulkarni, the CIO at Access Securities, joins us now. He's written a very interesting note with his new year picks of 2023. Naveen, good morning and happy new year to you. Uh, since autos are the theme that we were just talking about, I noticed that you have Chola Mandalam Investment, which is you know your one of your big stocks to watch in this coming year. And over there as well, I mean, the the growth has been really strong for Chola, right? I mean, in Q2, it had almost a 70% disbursement. Do you think things can get better? And what's the trigger there? Yeah, so in general, uh, we are uh, quite positive on the PFSS sector as a whole, right? So, so uh, the thing about uh, the whole sector is that how do you ladder up in terms of the overall risk profile? So, in, in the overall scheme of things, we find uh, Chola Mandram to be very well placed in terms of how they will be able to uh, scale up their business, have a strong, they already have a very, very strong liability franchise, but also be able to maintain their uh, um, ROA and essentially be able to maintain the multiples, right? So that's the key for uh, the BFS sector from here on. In that, uh, Chola fits quite well in terms of AVM growth, in terms of the return on asset, and of course, ability to maintain the valuation multiples. So that's the those are the key factors for us for uh, looking at Chola very very uh, keenly. Okay, Naveen, I uh, good morning. A great New Year, uh, 2023 for you and uh, yours. Let me uh, look at the kind of top picks that you have given us. You know, most of them are mid-cap picks. Are you broadly of the view that uh, 2023 can see mid-caps outperforming sm uh, large caps? Yeah, so if we look at the overall construct of things right now, so uh, if we, let's say, go back in 2017, uh, uh, typically we saw that uh, small caps did very, very well, mid caps were okay, and uh, large caps were underperforming. 2018, we saw uh, large caps doing slightly better, but mid cap and small cap did not do so well. 2022 was somewhat a similar year compared to that of, uh, let's say, 2018, right? Small caps are not done so well. Mid caps have been kind of okay, right? So, 2023 is where I believe that mid caps are a sweet spot to be in. They are not too small where the business models could be impacted by the macroeconomic headwinds, which will be there, right? Uh, there will be slowdown. There will be other challenges which will come. And they are not like very, very large where they are not able to maneuver the business model quickly, right? So, from that perspective, mid caps are the sweet spot and I believe that mid caps can deliver very, very good return in 2023. Yeah, right. Hi, Naveen. Good morning. Uh, you know, uh, the railway stocks did very, very well in the past year, particularly in the second half of the year. And from there, you have a pick, rights, I believe. Give us the rationale out then. What's the outlook? Yeah, so uh, uh, if you look at uh, the theme for, let's say, rights as such, is that we are looking at uh, uh, the railway capex to be a big, big theme for uh, next year, right? So and there are again a wide range of stocks which are which look very, very interesting. There are small caps also which are exposed to railway capex, which look very interesting. But rights as a company is a very, very stable company in terms of what they do, right? So they are essentially a consulting company. The order book is very, very strong. They will get a good number of orders next year. And more importantly, the return ratios, everything are like very, very real, are very, very strong. Lastly, the valuation is quite cheap right so from a perspective of the kind of ratios that they deliver and of course the growth that we are going to witness from that i think that it's very well placed to deliver a good 25 30 percent returns for the next one year okay the other theme that you like is this whole home improvement theme right and within that astral is a company they are into wood drainage water tanks pipes etc uh, tell us a little bit about the upsides here and uh, you know what could be the growth trigger for astral yeah, so, uh, if we look at, let's say, Astral, one of the key aspects for Astral will be what kind of margins that they will be able to deliver in 2023, right? So, uh, I think that the margins are likely to improve in 2023. That's going to be a very, very key factor for Astral. Second, of course, the overall product profile is also going is slowly, slowly changing. They are also entering new categories and that's going to be, I think, a good long-term trigger for them to maintain their valuation multiples. As far as the growth is concerned, I think growth will be reasonably strong in 2023. But more importantly, the focus i think we should be looking at how margin profile is going to improve in 2023 and the new product launches which are going to also happen will help in maintaining the growth rate and the valuation multiples so from that aspect i believe that astral can deliver a return of around 15 to 20 percent in the next one year okay and you have an uh, interesting set of retailers vmart trent uh, would you add the others i mean the shopper stops uh, uh, just uh, all the retail marts would you add them why why are these two special Yes, sir. 
so generally if i were to look at let's say discretionary consumption uh, uh, for uh, 2023 i think can still be reasonably okay uh, what we look at from a retailer's aspect is their capital allocation policy how tight the capital allocation policy is right so that's going to be a very very critical factor because what happens is that the margins can go haywire very very quickly in retail business so from that aspect if i were to look at let's say a trend or a vmart uh, i would say that these companies uh, uh, do not experiment too much with their business models in terms of uh, getting into categories where they are not very very confident about so they are essentially companies which manage their capital allocation very very well so that means that the margin profile over the next one year can be expected to be fairly stable and if we see the growth profile we see that the growth profile is going to be more consistent which will essentially mean that these companies can deliver still consistent and good returns over the next one year okay this very helpful thanks a lot for your top ideas interesting bunch of large and mid caps and uh, across themes right so navin thanks a lot for taking the time out and speaking to cnbc tv 18 have a great 2023 thank you All right. Uh, before we slip into a break, here's a look at what's lined up for the show in the next half hour. We will bring you the top stock picks for the day from our technical and FNO 